and uh, one of my students took a screenshot and like circled and said, hey everybody, Mr. Rooney really is where he says he is. They were passing it around social media like, hey, that's our teacher on the Senate floor. They thought that was pretty cool and I thought it was pretty neat that they noticed. My parents took our family on a trip to Washington, D.C. when I was in seventh grade. And when we got up into the gallery of the U.S. Senate and looked down at that floor, I went, whoa, that's, that's what I want to do. The teaching part didn't really come until I took AP U.S. History. The teacher that I had that year when I was a junior in high school, he and I just clicked and he said, why don't you do what I do? And that's get people who don't yet know that they're history people to realize that they are. That's what you can do as a high school teacher. I was working on the professional side, but then the alderman for my ward in the city council moved out of town. And they said, how would you maybe like to try the political side? Then the mayor's chair became open. In my sixth year as mayor, the guy who was the state senator for my district announced that he was leaving the state senate. In the spring, that's when you're kind of in and out, in and out, back and forth to Springfield. I would teach Monday at West, soon as school was out, jump in my car, drive to East, because I could grab my suitcase and walk to the Franklin Park train station. I would catch the train, go into Union Station, switch to the train to Springfield, take the train to Springfield, get there at about nine o'clock on Monday night, and now I'm a state senator for three days. I mean, I had taught before, but us being able to work and plan together, I think really benefited me as a teacher. One of the days we did a Zoom or Google Meet or some type of virtual tour of the Capitol and the students would ask them about Springfield and they were always, I think, more wanting gossip. And they were like, what are the other people like? What's it like being a senator? Things like that. He always made it really clear to the students that even though he saw his job as a state senator as really important, he most considered himself a teacher. Most kids tell me, I don't do that because I don't think they listen to us. They're right. Just finding somebody that you think, hey, I, I kind of believe in this person and what they're doing and offering to help them. You're going to start to see them pay more attention to those young people and they know that they were able to count on them when it really mattered. Boy, to get an attitude like that going here in this country would do wonders for young people. The more local the level of government is, the more it actually affects your daily life. And I was actually connecting more with people's daily lives when I was the mayor of my town than any of the things I did in Springfield.